Uh, welcome to another story time with uh, Jimbo. So uh, the uh, the story is going to be about an explosion, explosions, but uh, not your typical uh, explosions. These are uh, dry ice explosions. So if you uh, are familiar with uh, dry ice and, and how when you add water, it can uh, um, build up gas, and then that gas causes like a high pressure in a contained vessel, right? And, and it explodes. Um, so, expansion's amazing. So anyway, years ago, I worked at a place where we had, uh, reason to cool things really uh, quickly so that we could, um, when needed, um, make metal smaller, right, to fit inside of other metal things, um, bearings. I'm talking about uh, pressing bearings uh, where you, you'll have a press fit, right? So it's always easier if, like, the, the outer part of that metal interface is warm, and then the inner part is cold because colder things, not everything, right? Not every state of, uh, of uh, material might be uh, smaller if it's cold. But anyway, for metal, that's, that's what happens. So uh, we would have the capability to make this dry ice, like instantaneous dry ice, right? It's, pretty much uh, magical be able to have dry ice on a whim um, so we, we we would what we used was like a small timer kind of a deal like we're not making a factory level of dry ice here we're just making a, a small brick of dry ice with using uh, co2 uh, ejected really quickly into uh, a box um, a uh, not very permeable, but still permeable material. I guess you can just do it into a sock to uh, spoiler. I don't think it was as efficient, but like <laughs> you can make dry ice fairly easily, I suppose. But anyway, so after pressing bearings, sometimes like you still have dry ice, right? Like the dry ice lasts for a long time. You know, you might pack a bunch of bearings in some dry ice, let it sit for a while while you go and you grab your tools. Um, maybe while you're waiting for that aircraft to come back in, because maybe this is like a, a deferred thing, like you want to change these bearings, but they're still good enough for the helicopter to, to um, be in service. So you know, it's not truly shaking apart yet, it's, but, it's, uh, but they're, they're worn and on their way out, right? So um, after, you know, you have the surplus dry ice, I mean, you've got a bunch of young men in their maybe late teens even to uh, early 20s. Uh, shenanigans might ensue, right? So I don't know, well, I am like 100% almost sure that I started it. So, but I, I might not have, but I'm pretty sure I did. You know, we had some water bottles around, like put some dry ice in there, put some water in, shake it to accelerate things, right? So you, you shake it, like shake this thing, uh, it accelerates it because uh, nobody wants to wait forever uh, for their explosion, right? Um, there's some anticipation, that's good, but often, uh, well, we like gratification uh, soon. So, uh, your regular cheap water bottle, um, you know, like, bulk, you know, Costco style water bottles, they, they're not very strong. They pop quickly and it's, it's fun. But of course, with anything, you want more fun. <laughs> so, so we worked out, like we were using different bottles we could find. I mean, we might have used like, like uh, soda bottles. Those are a little bit tougher, right? Understandably, you know, like a Coke bottle or whatever, like the plastic Coke bottles. And, um, so what I think um, 
we ultimately decided was like the ultimate, and this is where it ended, was Gatorade bottles. I mean, they are impressively tough. I don't know why they need to be so tough, right? They're not, they don't have compressed uh, contents like a soda bottle does. Um, they are really overbuilt, I feel, right? Anyway, um, so uh, yours truly uh, is the guy that's pioneering this. <laughs> and uh, so we put like the last of the dry ice in a Gatorade bottle. And we've already learned, um, and this is no mystery to the chemists out there, that uh, heat accelerates uh, reactions often. I mean, sure, there's the inverse on some things where it's, it's like cold accelerates it, but for dry ice, uh, like to off gas, uh, warm, a warmer is better. So, you know, there's of course like a coffee mess as in almost every, I, I cannot think of a military hangar that I've been to that does not have a coffee maker like very close or on the hangar deck, right? So this is happening over by the hangar doors where the uh, coffee mess at this particular place uh, was. So yeah, putting some hot water in there directly from the coffee uh, maker um, definitely accelerates things. So still in the habit of shaking it to accelerate it more, uh, I put I put this hot water in there with the dry ice that the last that I think of our dry ice, like a fair amount, um, maybe had one with cold water that didn't explode maybe. So I'm like stepping up the game, right? And we're optimizing everything for an explosion. <laughs> so of course, uh, I, I cap this thing with the hot water and the dry ice and I go to shake it and I get, I think one shake or a shake and a half at any rate, like I'm using all my, my arm swing to shake this thing violently, right? And on the down, downward swing, right next to my thigh, this thing goes off. <laughs> Immense explosion, uh, you know, like, uh, how can I say it? The, the, the way that the water balls were exploding was like this loud. You know, we were stepping up with other balls we found, and then this Gatorade bottle was like way up there, ridiculously loud. Um, and I guess that's also kind of how sound works, right? It's like a, um, it's not just a, a, a linear, a, a, I can't, my words fail me, but the line doesn't go like this. We have like a, a curve, right? Like sound, sound waves, or uh, the measurement of sound, the decibel, the decibel system. Anyway, so, Insane explosion, ended the fun. I like my hand um, was numb, <laughs> made my hand swell up. Huge, huge bruise on my uh, my thigh, like insane bruise. It hurt so bad. So, cautionary tale. Um, don't don't try that at home. Um, anyway. Yeah, uh, but that's not the biggest explosion story. <laughs> well, another time we'll talk about uh, the explosion that almost, uh, like, it could have killed me. Like, pretty, pretty close. An arm's, arm's length away from, uh, from probably dying. <laughs> Dangerous things can be fun, but uh, definitely, uh, definitely educate yourself and uh, do it. Uh, do dangerous things safely, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, everybody that was there when when it blew up on my <laughs> leg probably remembers. I mean, it's like a mix of like horror, like, oh no, <laughs> he's hurt, but this is also hilarious. <laughs> Absolute shock. It was almost as much noise as when I blew up a tire on the hangar deck. 
other exciting deal like uh, if if you have a, a split in the sidewall on a, a tire that has a uh, um, a uh, inner tube, right? It's shocking how much that inner tube can can stretch when it comes out of that crack, like like bubble gum, just like. Psh, psh. Um, yeah, yeah, that can be. <laughs> that's a loud pop. <laughs> deafening. <laughs> All right. That's enough. Bye, everybody. Make good choices.